Hi, my name is Ben Rogers. I'm the Director of Engineering here at Nevada Nano. We're going to be doing a demonstration today of the MPS flammable gas sensor. It's a smart sensor. It does automated environmental compensation and it accurately detects over 12 gases without doing any recalibration, which we call true LEL. It's immune to poisons and it doesn't require any recalibration. Today's demonstration is going to show how the MPS addresses some of the shortcomings of existing flammable gas sensors, namely the NDIR and the Polister sensor. We're going to do a demonstration where we show the sensor's methane, which is what all these sensors are calibrated with, and then we're going to show it two gases that it's not calibrated with, namely hydrogen and butane. Okay, we have a small sample volume inside of this plastic tank here that contains the three different sensors we'll be testing. In the middle is the Nevada Nano MPS sensor, and it's flanked by an NDIR sensor and a polister. There's also a small fan in there for rapid circulation of the air. And at the top, we've placed a balloon containing pure methane, equivalent to about 50% LEL methane in this particular volume. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop that balloon, and the fan will quickly circulate that methane in the volume. And we should see all three sensors respond relatively accurately to this, which is the gas to which they were all calibrated. So the methane's circling uh, around and we'll see that all three sensors are responding to that methane and are all reasonably accurate around 50% LEL. Okay, next in the tank we have butane. So this is a balloon filled with the equivalent of 50% LEL butane for this particular volume. And I will pop it just like I popped the last balloon. I'll let the gas circulate in there. So butane, the MPS will be accurate for. The NDIR and the polyster will both detect it, but will be highly inaccurate for it. The MPS is accurately reporting butane around 50% LEL, and it also accurately identifies it as a light gas. Lastly, we have hydrogen. Again, the balloon is filled to the equivalent of 50% LEL for this volume. And I'll pop it. We'll let it circulate a little bit. So the NPS accurately detects hydrogen and reports it at 50% LEL. It also correctly identifies it as hydrogen. Meanwhile, the cat bead underreports the concentration, and the NDIR is incapable of even seeing hydrogen and so reports zero. Thank you very much for learning more about the MPS flammable gas sensor from Nevada Nano. For more information about this product, visit our website at www.nevadanano.com.